Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted this picture on Facebook wanting to know what font this was. And somebody graciously told us that it's Hello Honey font, which is a really cool font. I did not have it. I had a one called Hello, but I didn't have Hello Honey. And if you look, here is Hello Honey. And you spell out the words and it actually comes up with that heart, but it doesn't do it on all words. So I kind of, and now that I say that, I think everything's the same except for maybe that S. You know, it's a little bit different. Maybe there's some, you know, things around that or whatever, but I just found it at DA Fonts, and I just went to DA Fonts, typed in Hello Honey, and there it is. Downloaded, pretty easy. I've got plenty of video. But the heart's not in, in the alphabet. So what you'd want to do is type out, let me just back up here, get it back before I was playing with it. And you just type out Ashley and David, don't have to have a space in between them or whatever. And then you're going to control K to get rid of the, uh, break the text apart. And then you're going to go to text, GIFs, or glyphs, and inside of the entire font is letters with the heart. I mean, it's got the letters in there, but it's also got the letters with the heart in there. So just, and you can make this bigger by sliding that over so you can see more. You can make them a little bit bigger by doing this. And if you look at the, go down to the hearts, or go up to the heart. And there's one that kind of looks like that slash of the D. So I'm just going to bring it into the picture. I'm going to go ahead and enlarge it and I'm going to make it, let's see how big this font is. It's 130. I'm going to make this 130. So it'll match. Like I said, I've already broken the, the D apart from the other letters. I'm just going to take that D out. Now, I don't know if the every letter is there. I'm going to move Ashley out of the way for a second. I only broke it apart one time. And you just kind of place this font in that D. Now, I don't think there's one for the A, so you would just bring in the Ashley. And you'd want it relatively close, so you could bring it in, you know, even like that. But to trim out that spot, you'd have to take that heart, go up to object, convert it to a curve, so you can use a virtual sigma delete key and delete that part. And there you have a heart between Ashley and David. Now there's also, there's a, uh, on the original picture, there's a, a fancy font on the end of it. So you could go and look at, um, let's see, the ones that are past the letters. And we're looking for a something that would be like the Y. And it wouldn't have to be the Y, um, but I think it'd be handy. Uh, I don't really see a Y. There, look, there's a Y. So we just bring it into the screen, make it that 130 points. Well, that's before the letter. We need one after the letter. I don't know if that's possible. We got lucky. There we go. There's after the letters. But you could, you could use part of the letter Um, that's a shame, but like you could use possibly this one, just bring it in, change it to that 130. And, but that's a G, but what we could do, it is a font. So we can go to, uh, convert it to a curve and actually, let's see if this will work. Let's bring in a two point line, go like right there and take this and just whoop, take your virtual segment, delete key, delete that line first, delete that, delete that. Whoop. That, okay. That's a curve. So you got to go to object, probably have to, let's group the whole, un, I mean, select the whole thing, go to object. Uh, normally it would say, uh, break curve apart, but evidently it's not. So what you could do is change it to an outline, which we did. Left click, right click, 
fill that in with your smart fill tool. And then you, I didn't hit it right. Evident, oh, see what I did? It's not closed. So what you could do is take a two point line again and then fill that in with a smart fill tool. I'm going to use black this time. And there you have that little whoop de doo and just move that little whoop de doo Now it's not perfect. Let's delete all the rest of this, but you can get it right on there. And what I would do in this case would be to left click, right click, and go ahead and convert that to a, a curve. Let's go ahead and, and left click, right click, so we can get a little bit closer. And then what you can do is take your virtual segment delete key and delete that and that. Uh, I'd go ahead and what I would do now is take the Smart Fill tool and fill that and maybe nudge, I don't, let me set my nudge on like on two inches, nudge that down a little bit and left click, right click and get rid of that little bump we have. You could do it with the shape tool, probably just delete those two, see what it does. Not too bad. Uh, maybe use a smoothing tool instead. And just move that out just a little bit. That looks pretty good. And then bring it, nudge it. We can actually take, okay, we're gonna have to go to object and break the curve apart, get rid of that Y, get rid of that because we've got the rest of them. Because we've nudged, we can nudge right back. <clears throat> and then you could, you know, you could do a number of things. You could try just filling in with black, but that doesn't work because it's a curve. So what you're gonna have to do now is to actually, and it's a little bit of, there's only a couple like that, Take and so we can use a smart fill tool. And it'd be worth it to use this font because the heart matches, and you could do it without the, you know, the, the font of the, the heart of the font. Well, we got a, something going on there. I don't have, so let's take the shape tool, put that back, see if we can't delete it now. Nope, got something going on there. Um, Let's try this. Let's try the smart fill tool. Fill on that. Nudge that out of the way for a second. Get rid of this part of the line. And you see when I use the smart fill tool, I messed up that part right there because it was hanging in there. Left click, right click, nudge it back. Try it one more time. See if it works. Nope. Not going to work. So what you could do in that case is just to smart fill everything and just smart fill that, and it won't show. Then I would always, as always, I would select it all and then right click, no outline. You get a little bit of thinner font too. I don't think there's, well, there's something before the David, so you could do the exact same thing. Anyway, I hope that it helped just a little bit. There is a little bit of spot right there. When we do that, we didn't weld that, so you could fill that in. Anyway, hope that helped. Thank you for watching.